Hey guys, Mr. Smith, Sandite Mentor. Uh, noticed uh, uh, some of you guys still doing the multiplying fractions. Um, look at look at this problem and tell me what's wrong with this picture. Um, remember, you, you cross simplify. Look at these terms that are diagonal and see if there's anything that's common. If so, you reduce it. Well, this one doesn't have anything either. There's nothing common between 11 and 12, and there's nothing common between 7 and 15. So according to the rules that I've been telling you or that, that we've been taught, well, just multiply straight across. Well, what, look, look what happens whenever you do that. You end up with 84 over 165. And if you just look at that, um, you've got 84, which is an even number, and 165, which is an odd number. So... Uh, if, if you're quickly running through your homework, you would think that you're, you're finished and that that was the answer. Um, but uh, slow down just a little bit and let's do a factor tree uh, for 84. If uh, you have 84 factors into 2 times 42, uh, 6 times 7, and then 2 times 3. So you have the factors of 2, 2, 3, and 7. Um, well, do the factor tree of 165. If you do 5 times 33, which breaks down into 3 times 11, well, 3 is actually common. There's a 3 here, and there's a 3 here. So guess what? Your 84 over 165 can be reduced. Um, if 3 was the magic number, 3 will go into 84 28 times and three will go into 165, 55 times. Um, some of you may have already caught that and, and, and uh, uh, figured it out, but um, I thought it was pretty cool because it goes against uh, what we've been saying to do, that if, it, if you cross simplify, and if it doesn't simplify, then you're good to multiply straight across and you have your answer. But here's what I did, um, but that can reduce again. The only thing I can think of is whenever you're doing your, your main problem, 7 elevenths over 12 over 15, might stop, hesitate just a second, and make sure that both those fractions are in simplest form. Uh, the 12 fifteenths um, will reduce um, to 4 fifths um, if, if you look at it. Um, so... Um, Anyway, I uh, hope that helps, and uh, um, I guess the, the uh, moral of the story would be to uh, just pay attention and go slow and be really careful, because 7 elevenths times 12 15 is actually 28 over 55. You guys have a good evening and a great day. I'll see you at school.